This is your conductor speaking. We're only moments away from righting the reprehensible wrong that's befallen our great eternal engine. Every revolution begins as a seed. It festers and spreads like wildfire until the gates are kicked down and the castle is stormed. Let us remember this moment, this opportunity to set the world straight again. One might think this is where the revolution ends, when really, it's only just begun. Yes, good morning. Hello. There. Hi. Good morning, Jeff. Good morning, Mickey. Good morning, Lena from Las Vegas. It's such a thrill to talk to you. Good morning. You too. Morning. Well, Mickey, I hear you asked to get a military style haircut for Till to get into character. Is that true? That is very true. Um, I, I think that was talks of me having sort of like a pretty braid. Um, and I was like, no. <laughs> This is what I want. Um, and it felt like that it was really uh, important um, for for my character. And, um, and, I, and I love it. And, and Lena, for the big climb, Miss Audrey didn't look so great. Can you dish why? Oh, ah, yes. No, she did not. Uh, she's got a lot going on. She's, she's basically um, been the healer, but never did the healing on herself and uh, doesn't have anyone to hug. So she's uh, having a moment of, of uh, it's a hard time because she's about to be faced with um, basically Mr. Wilford is coming for her and she knows it. So she's very, very uh, scared. <laughs> as she should be. <laughs> and Nikki, as a brakeman, you know, Till is a very physical role. Can you take me through a, a typical day of training for your character? Sure, yeah. I mean, I had different, um, season one was a lot of uh, work with an axe for the revolution. Um, I got to, and with my baton, um, and then season two, um, there's a lot of boxing um, and uh, fighting with my fists. So that's a whole other, um, whole other skill. And uh, I would spend like six hours in the, in the gym at the weekends, like learning the choreography and with amazing trainers who were so lovely and patient with me. Um, and then, um, yeah, I spent a lot of time in the bath like, at night when I'd come home from work. <laughs> <laughs> Old lady bones. <clears throat> and, and Lena, there's more to her connection with Wilford than uh, that she's letting on, isn't she? Yeah, yeah, they have a very, very, very dark and deep past. And um, even her just seeing him again brings it all flooding back. And it was something that she said goodbye to, but didn't uh, didn't actually do the work to get through. So uh, um, unfortunately for Miss Audrey, she's extremely vulnerable especially right now, since they went through a big revolution and she did lose a lot of her uh, loved ones and staff from that revolution and uh, to fight for democracy on the train. And, uh, and now to be faced with this, it's, uh, it's not a great time. <laughs> She's definitely been weakened uh, throughout season one. <laughs> And Mickey, the people of Snowpiercer, they'll never surrender, will they? You know, they're picking up the pieces, but they won't surrender. Yeah, I think with Andre Layton as sort of the fearless, um, courageous leader, I think that, that there's a, a real sense that, that we have to keep forging ahead and like keep fighting for what's right and for democracy and equality. Um, and, you know, I think if, if Wilfred hadn't latched on that they would have had a real shot of recreating the society. Um, but uh, unfortunately, Wilford has, has some other plans. <laughs> and Lena, we're getting a special song from you. I mean, are you excited about uh, you know showing more of your talent on Snowpiercer? Yeah, I've been lucky enough that they've uh, looped in a bunch of my uh, talents, uh, some current, some very far past um, into my character. And uh, 
and uh, I've been doing, uh, did two songs for season one, uh, two performances and a, a, one performance for season two. Um, and they've licensed a bunch of my covers in some of and an original song in season two, which for me is just a dream because I've always wanted to be that voice that you hear, you know, like a car commercial, you're like, what's cover is that so cool. And, you know, I've always wanted that. <laughs> and I finally get that. So I, I, I'm grateful to them for, for um, being willing to loop in just like everything that I do. And you both have to be excited because, you know, I hear season three, maybe on the horizon. We are currently in quarantine uh, in Canada waiting to, uh, you know, uh, get the go ahead to to start shooting in like a, a two weeks or something <laughs> very soon. That's awesome. Well, thank you both for joining yeah. me this morning. I'm such a fan of this show and the movie. So just I'm glad there's a new season coming up too. And uh, so uh, stay safe and thank you for talking to me and we'll talk again soon. You thank too. you. You too. Bye-bye.